Welcome to Taco Tuesday. Taking action for creative ownership. Hi, everybody. Hello. How I'm, are you? We are. I am Mark. I'm Sharon G. And my last name is Wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a lemon. A lemon. My last name is Green Swan. My last name is Wheeler. <laughs> Being a musician, the first thing I want to say is it's a bummer about uh, Eddie Van Halen today. He was uh, he was quite an innovator. Speaking of 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 finding an urge and and sticking with it and really sticking with it because he spent his whole life in that realm. Of, mm. of his urge to get better and better. He just he just had this urge. And it was pretty incredible. And amazing. Eddie Van What? Yeah. Rest in peace, Eddie. Condolences to everybody. And his family. Whew. This is quite the innovator. Quite I think we're all. Huh? Yeah. And his family. Yeah. Wow, that music. I mean, come on. Everyone's <laughs> ears for the, how many decades are conditioned to that sound. And that style of, of playing he had was just so out of the box. <laughs> he really, really lived with that guitar. Yeah. He lived and breathed it. So the story goes. Oh yeah. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Wow. He had the urge. And he Ooh. followed it. He really followed it. Mm -hmm. He found the perfect soil to bloom within. Oh, I like that. His tree was planted in a very <laughs> organic and rich soil. Yay! Woo! Eddie, organic guitar playing turned outrageous game changer, rock and roll trendsetter. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Have you claimed your calling? Calling all people who are in need of claiming their calling. We're here for you. We are here. We are the now. Walking this earth like the sacred cow. How much more simple can it get? It really can't get much more simple. We get the things that we expect. Everything we have is inside, and from within, take our stride. Stride, I. You can see. You can go forward because you have eyes. That's very true. Did you know what a calling was when you were growing up? I thought it was that thing that was, uh, you know, you pick up like this <laughs> and you put it to your ears. I thought that was my calling. <laughs> who are you calling? Like, who are you calling? I don't know. I've got to call somebody. That I've got to call myself. That was mysterious to me. People would say, follow your calling or what's your calling? I heard that word and I, I thought like it meant the phone was ringing for me too. I, I remember like following your bliss. Mm. I remember that one. What's your follow your bliss? Do your or follow your passion. That was good. And like, does bliss mean 
Does it involve like psychedelics or what does that mean? To follow your bliss. Ooh. I guess it could, but uh, it doesn't have to. Doesn't have to be on drugs. It doesn't have to be like that. So we realize there are a lot of people around us who are not expressing their calling. We tend to see these little glimmers of a person's calling, but it's unexpressed. Sometimes if it's expressed, it, it's like discounted right away. Oh, I love to do that, but nah, you know, well, I don't have time. So sometimes they, they 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 feel it somewhere in the in themselves that they want to do a thing, but they don't. But they, there's a there's a there's a something something slowing them down. They're like walking through a, a like, like like a mud puddle with it and they're not quite like like uh, they're not quite getting on his head don't hesitate on those impulses because right now our humanity needs them more than ever our humanity needs you <laughs> everybody needs to come on board it's free. Express what's inside and bring it out. Express what's inside and bring it out. Express what's inside and bring it out. There's value in that. That's the value that we inherently all have, regardless of the size of our bank accounts. Regardless of our situations. <laughs> in spite of any... Hesitations. Hesitations. It's true. Every song of ours <laughs> seems to relate to this topic. How do we do that? It's something it's that thing, isn't it? by following our calling, the calling even begins to expand. That's what's so brilliant about it. Like it doesn't just land and you're there. There's still a journey of expressing your calling. And that's what we are on with Taco Tuesdays, taking actions towards what we're here for. Yay! So the I, most... I, I was wondering, you know, like, like sometimes I'm people... Stuck here. You're stuck? I'm sorry. Sometimes people, like, I think... I think know what they want to do, but they, they like I was saying earlier, they kind of circle around it. And and when that happens, it's like their their urge isn't really recognized for themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you mean that little thing that happens like as one is falling asleep? And it's like a little nudge, a little whisper in your ear, like a whisper from maybe your heart. And it's like, hey, remember that book that you want to write? Uh, remember that you really want to do something different than what you're doing every day? Something incredible. Remember that thing that used to light you up and make you sparkle and dance as a child sparkle and dance it's still there it's still there and it can get really quiet <laughs> but there's a little spark in the heart and that's what we define as a calling so how important it is to rekindle that spark oh my gosh it's imperative. <laughs> yes, it is. Especially now, it's so imperative yeah. to rekindle that spark. That's what the world needs now. The spark, the sweet sparks. It's the only thing that we just could use so much more of. 
Sparks. And you can't buy it. You have to be it. Thank goodness. That means it's available for everyone. Yay! <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Whether you get the stimulus check or not. It's there. To be. It really is. It's our being. It's our core. So we're here to remind you. It's time to honor your urge. urge. Honoring your urge is the most foundational step to claiming your calling. Foundational. Because one needs to understand what the urge is to realize you will be healed with your urge. I promise you will be healed. It even begins to heal people around you when you're willing to take those steps and act on the urge that you are honoring. You heal me with your urge. Mm, thank you. <laughs> you heal me too with yours. Mm. See how it works? It's so, so simple. Wouldn't you <laughs> like to have that too? <laughs> really, everyone has that, <clears throat> that turn on in your own heart is where it begins. Gosh, had we not been honoring our urges, we would not have met. <laughs> That's absolutely true. <laughs> Thank goodness I got out of corporate America. Yay, corporate America's out. Out of corporate America. Yay. Thank goodness I turned on a dime one day. And I went, it was like on the verge of 30 years old. And I still had not ever let anyone know my deepest desire mm -hmm. to be a performing songstress. Mm -hmm. And it was like I discovered the local community college. And hey, this was in Long Beach, California. And I discovered there was amazing classes going on there. And the ones that I was interested in all required an audition. Oof. I had never auditioned. It's like I'm on the verge of 30, never expressed my calling, petrified to do so. But one day, I turn on a dime, literally, and after my 10-hour corporate job, my car drove to the college to that first class, and at the end of it, I had to do an audition. And it doing that, honoring my urge. Finally, I waited so long, but it put me on an amazing trajectory to fulfilling that spark in my heart. So the point is, it's ready for you when you're ready for it. And we find a lot of people come to their spark in their heart and honor it like, they're waiting for that day that they retire. <laughs> yep. How sad. We're here now. We're meant to shine now and bring it out. So don't we want to let everyone know, I mean, bring out that urge as soon as you can. I had, I've, I've been playing guitar for all of my life. And I think my, my, I've always had the urge, but not the, uh, not the, I, I had to purge some things as well before I could really get into the urge and really go forward with my guitar playing. It, it's, it's kind of a funny journey that I had because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing guitar and I'm, and I'm in bands and I'm feeling I'm feeling okay, but something just seemed to be a little askew, and it wasn't until Sharon and I got together and started writing that I really, all of a sudden, felt like this really even stronger compulsion, this stronger urge <laughs> to to really hunker down and 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 feel a little bit more artistic with what I was doing and, and and creating some things that were that were more of my own and our own endeavors with with our music so 
you began some innovations pretty much and the, and right I'm, after we met. Yeah. That, <laughs> yes. Oh that, my gosh. I, she's right. I, I was, I was, <laughs> we were writing songs and I, I, my guitar, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not really, you know, technical with the guitar. I just kind of play what I feel. Um, that can be very technical. Yeah. But I know you <laughs> in the, in the yeah, studious yeah. sense. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so there was a, there was a there was a thing where uh, it was you know I, I was playing my guitar but it wasn't sounding quite like how I wanted it to sound like like no wait no this this isn't right I'm, this is the wrong chord I I want something different so I started to to retune my guitar and find chords that sounded like I wanted them to sound. Like see, things I was hearing in my head, I was finally starting to get on guitar by retuning my guitar and just playing things. I don't even know when I'm playing really. I'm just using my ears. So that's that's how that that that's how having having an urge and and following the urge. It, it, you don't you never know what kind of road you're going to go down. You really really I had no idea I was going to do something like that, but I had this urge to play. I had this urge in my of the sounds in my head that I wanted to hear that I wasn't hearing with regular chords, so I did, I just made it happen. Thank goodness. You know, I was looking at one of those those Ooh. old set lists. We were looking at some stuff of ours, and there's a set list where like every two songs we have boxes of stuff. Every two songs was like a new guitar tuning, but you know every song. They have their flavor. It's not your six-string regular tuning or even standard alto tuning. It's the Mark Wheeler tuning. Yeah, and I must say, you know, there's there's tuning, retuning a guitar is like, you know, when I started doing that, I I knew something about it, but I really didn't know anything about it. Hmm. So I I thought it, I was being so innovative. <laughs> <laughs> when it, and then, then, like a couple of years later, I'm like, "Oh, everybody does that." Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so being willing to own whatever portion of innovation you do is it, valid. It, yeah, in that in that urge, it, it, things can really uh, you can get some fascinating turns and twists in, in life. Following an urge, it, it'll be incredible. I promise. Thanks for fulfilling um, a big piece of the puzzle in my life Aww. with the way that you follow your creativity. You know? Owner your... Owner. Own your creativity. And you know... The way you do that. I, I, I feel mm. like you are my muse in that. Mm. You, you are such my muse in, in the way I approach my guitar and my art and how we how we do things together, and I so appreciate everything that you uh, you bring in. Two ways, two ways. One, two. Can can you be my muse? Our muses, they're feminine usually, but not always. Oh. Ah, give it up for the balance. The balance of the masculine and feminine. The Libra that's going on right now. Let's wish for some extra equilibrium. Okay, I think I think we've done enough, right? calling let's all bring it out so what do you mean you don't know what we're talking about are there some of you that don't know what we're talking <gasps> about hey 
Oh, there's a website. Guess what? <laughs> Go to slushbox.net. I was actually thinking of the ones that are. Or in you the can go to closetedcreatives.com. And there you will find us. And you will find that we love to talk with people about their creative urges. And we want to help you bring it out. Claim your calling because it's 2020, and you know. What else are you going to do? That's the only thing for certain, is that we each have a calling. And even if what's happening now in the world wasn't happening, it's still important. <laughs> now <laughs> is the time. So, Let's redeem 2020. Yeah. Totally. Let's make it, Let's as make Eddie it. Van Halen says, make it rock. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, okay. Come Eddie on. Yeah. Well, actually, he didn't say anything. He played it. So. He played it. Boy, didn't he ever. <laughs> Ooh, Just an he incredible He played it. Player. He played. He played the spirit he, he of the guitar out. He did more than play. He, like, he did more than play. He, he expressed mm -hmm. himself. He, he, you know, he, he just, he went down a road where he just decided, <laughs> I don't care what anybody else is doing. This feels good to me. And he did it. He kind of turned the guitar into a piano or something, he too, did, right? He's basically, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't need black and white keys. They didn't even know how to cr transcribe what he was playing in regular tablature. He, he, had, he had to create his own way of writing out what he was doing because it wouldn't fit in a, in a, in a conventional way <laughs> in, on a four bars and, like, you know, half notes and quarter notes. That didn't work. Yep. Okay, we're out of here. We're gonna so make, we're going to throw you a kiss goodnight <laughs> and say, goodnight. Mm, it's time to claim your calling claim for all of humanity. And if you're in the closet about it, closetedcreatives.com. That's the cc.c. Check it out. Okay, we love you. Y'all take care of everybody else. Peace. Mm -hmm.